My name is Ben Maddox, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Sony camera and make it your webcam for your computer. You could use it for Zoom meetings, live streams, FaceTime calls, or anything else you could think of as your webcam. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the Sony a7C, as the, that's the camera that I have, but I'm sure that this way that I show you guys, you can use for any Sony camera that's out there. You only need three things to be able to make your camera be your webcam. The first thing is a capture card. I like to use this Elgato cam link. The second is a HDMI cable that actually will plug into this capture card or the cam link for Elgato. You either need a micro or a mini HDMI port on the other side. So it'll be a cable and it's an HDMI to micro is what I'm using. Depending on your camera, you may need it to be a mini or a micro. Just make sure you double check that I'm sure you could check it online and make sure that you get the right cable for what you need for your camera. For the A7C, you need a micro. Last but not least, this cable is optional, but it's a USB-C to USB-C cable and that basically will power the camera so that whenever you are using it for Zoom calls or live streams or something that's a little bit longer form, that your camera just doesn't suddenly turn off because it'll die. And it'll just plug in and keep it charged and keep it nice and ready to go. I forgot to mention that if you have a computer that uses only USB-C or Thunderbolt or any other adapter that isn't USB 3.0, you need to adapt the capture card to that port. So because I'm using an M1 MacBook Pro, I do have to adapt the capture card from USB 3.0 to a USB-C port. If you're using something like S-Log3 or a neutral profile, you want to make sure you switch back to like a standard, a landscape or portrait, just a regular picture profile that has all the saturation, has all the contrast in it already. Because when you go to use it as your webcam, it'll make the picture look ready to go right out of camera. The second thing to remember is you have to change a couple settings before you plug in your camera and use it as your webcam. The first setting is going to be USB connection. It's on page three of the yellow browser on your camera. Find a setting called the USB connection and you're going to want that setting to be MTP. The second setting is right next to that page. It should be on page four of the yellow browser and you're going to look for USB power supply and you're going to make sure that is turned on. That means when your camera is plugged into USB-C power, it'll be charging. After changing those settings, you should be able to just plug it in and use it right away as your webcam. If you have any questions below, make sure you comment and I'll try and get to them and answer them as quickly as possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.